Hello YouTube, it's your boy B3, back with another kicking movie reaction review. Last time we did the Astro Factor, and today I promised quite a classic of sorts. The Galaxy Invader. Or just Galaxy Invader. A straight-to-VHS movie from, I believe, the 80s? Yeah. So, this is basically just a homemade film that got a VHS release. It's just made with uh, the citizens of the director's small town. Um, real cheap alien suit, but it was a fun film. You know what? I I actually enjoyed it. I found myself really rooting for some characters and really rooting against some others. There was uh, murder. There was family drama. Is it a bad film? Absolutely. But is it a good film? Absolutely. <laughs> this is one of those cult, cult classics. Like, it's a cult classic for cult classic people. Uh, I think I've only ever seen one of the reviewer do this film. Uh, who was it? I don't remember. But, yeah, it's basically a homemade film. And if you look at it from, like, the quality of a homemade film, it's pretty good. I'd be proud of this. I would be proud of this movie. With a homemade budget and everything homemade. Homemade actors that are just like your neighbors. You know? You can find this movie free like anywhere. I think you can even watch it free on many websites legally. The thing about these 50 movie sci-fi sets that I review is most of the films in them are public domain. So you can just get them. Package them all together for 10 bucks. 50 movies for 10 bucks. That's pretty wild. And it's almost always worth it. There's usually at least one film in there that makes it really worth it. For this for this set, so far, it was Moon of the Wolf. I was a real big fan of that werewolf movie. But there's been some other good films in here, too. Like, The Astral Factor was so bad, it was funny. Uh, and then this movie, Galaxy Invader. I, I, like, genuinely enjoyed this film. It's a bad movie, yeah, but I genuinely enjoyed it. I see why it's kind of remembered by riff tracks and people uh, to this very day. Uh, it's beloved because it's bad. And that just warms my little heart. <laughs> uh, it's great for what it is. I really enjoyed the Galaxy Invader. There was like this abusive father who, this is spoiler alert territory by the way. This is this abusive father who got his comeuppance in the end. <sighs> the real sad part for me was that the alien died. I thought they were going to help him get home, but... The alien died, and that made me sad. That made me sad face. There were a couple murders. Uh, like, and when the movie started, you wanted this deadbeat redneck dad dead. Hitting his daughters, threatening his family with guns. You, like, wanted him dead via alien the whole movie. And then the movie keeps going on. He gets more and more abusive, threatening to kill people, constantly waving his gun around. This stuff isn't even inaccurate, because I live in a small little town, just like the one in the movie. Trust me, it's not. I see people doing it all the time. Uh, and then he's, like, accessory to a murder. Then he commits a murder. Then he tries to kill his own daughter and her boyfriend. And it's there's this amazing scene where while he's strangling the daughter's boyfriend, his wife is finally like, I'm done. Because she was making excuses for him for the whole movie. But then, then this abused wife picks up the gun, smacks him on the back of the head with it, and he falls off a cliff to his death. And I was like, that felt so fucking good that the wife was the one that got to do it and not the alien. That felt so fucking good. But I was really sad that the alien died. I was actually, like, upset that the alien died. I was like, oh, no. He was good guy. Because the movie might be called The Galaxy Invader. But he's not invading. He just kind of shows up. We don't know if he had ship trouble. We don't know uh, if he had some kind of motive on Earth. He just seems to be trying to get back to his ship, but he wants to take all his technology with him. Kind of Star Trek-y. He doesn't want to leave his tech behind. 
I wish the alien could have gotten off planet and home. That that would have made me happy. But the alien suit is bad, but it's intentionally worse because this director's had a few films. This is his homemade, homemade one. And he wanted to um, give it more of a character focus, so he cut more of the budget on the costume and stuff. So um, even people who are fans of his film are like, the costume's not as good as usual. Uh, as his other films. But that's intentional because he put the budget more into characters. And I think that was a good choice. Because I did find myself rooting for and rooting against characters, like I said. But that's it for the Galaxy Invader, a.k.a. Galaxy Invader. Uh, if you want a copy, it's pretty much public domain. Just Google it. But that, 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 that's it. Thank you all once again for your support. And I'll see you all next time. I might do the original stop motion silent film The Lost World. But we'll see.